Well, it's afternoon, guys, or just about another hour or two. Yeah, we were just here, Rosemary, California. It's 10.22 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. And it's Tuesday, the 18th of April. Have we, have we not survived tax day yet? I sure as hell hope so. I think it was a pain in the ass anyway to deal with, and it still is a pain in the ass to deal with. But, necessary pain in the ass for the function of the United States government. Don't ask me why. Yeah, what you're hearing me is just trying to get into different things left and right. And right now, I'm just trying to get myself going here. That was crazy. But, you know, it was necessary for me to get outside and do the stuff I was going to do. And, and it was a better day because I wasn't triggered. I wasn't triggered. I didn't feel like there was going to be a need of me getting emotionally triggered left and right. But you know what today is? What they consider today is? Their remembrance of what the hell happened back in the 40s when all hell broke loose, when you had a authoritative regime trying to take over the world for his own madman purposes and killing people left and right. Yeah, it's that day. It's the remembrance of the Holocaust nightmare, I call it. Yeah, it was 6 million Jews, but hell, it was like 12 million people regardless. You still had other people fighting in the war. Non-combatants, mostly, when they're getting exterminated and slaughtered in different cities left and right. It was a bad war. A race almost got exterminated, but they still had survivors all over the damn place. And it adds to our cultural heritage all over. It still adds a meaning to the culture of Christianity. Because they were the precursors to Christians. The Christians are, precur are the extension of Judaism. Think about it. What was Jesus Christ? What was his religion? What was his? What was he born into, or born as, mortally? He was born a Jew. Therefore, they were exterminating, trying to exterminate Christianity. If they had any form of Christianity, they were trying to get rid of it. Every time there has been a hate crime concerning about, Judy, about hating the Jews, they're hating their own selves if they, if they call themselves Christians. They might as well call themselves atheists or ignorant. And there had been a lot of there had been a lot of racism going on these days. Too much of it. And one prime example of it was Holocaust. There are people out there that still deny the Holocaust never happened. Exterminating Jews was a fallacy. And that we got we got theories out there saying that the Jews are trying to run and rule the world and this and that and we're gonna be talking about names here. It's like I don't get it with these assholes, I really don't. It's like they were made of the butt of an angry joke that was shared among the ignorant among the ignorant about the idiots out there who don't understand about a culture. But they don't care about culture. What they care about is hurting others. Because it makes them feel good. I'm a Christian. I can do... Yeah, he's Jewish. Yeah, so we got to do something about it. I'm going to say and do some threatening and dastardly things about them because ha, 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 I'm superior to them. Ha. And guess what we hate call those assholes? Hate groups. Hate mongers. These schmucks never learn. They don't understand. But the Jews are out there to control the world. No, your own stupidity is out there controlling the world, you dumb schmuck. Well, you're damn hatred and angry at them. Why? Why? 
You know, if there was something done, if there was going to be something done in a university, if I actually make it up to a university level at this point over here, I'd love to do a deep dive in this shit. I mean, if I can get out of community college of just, if I can just get one or two classes down my throat concerning about uh, the cultures of the blacks and the cultures of Latina. Even though I'm supposed to be an English major, but I'd love to do this one. Stretch this damn thing out. Get in there and get a get a touch of it. Just see what I'm looking at here. And then if I could do a deep dive, change the major a bit, into history. I'd love to do a deep dive on this on the Middle East situation. Because part of my heritage as being a Christian is of being part of the Middle East. Now granted, my ancestry was European. But I was told by my family, and I wish to God I had access to my family records on this one. I was told I had German, I had Irish, I had Scottish, I had English. But on my mother's side, that is. On my father's side, I don't know what the fuck I was. But I'd love to learn about this one here. I would love to understand why the Jewish nation was so hated among everybody. Why was the Israelites back in the Middle East, in the ancient times of what our, our biblical studies would, te would te teach us and tell us, why were they most hated and the most vile? According to everybody else, they were out there to control the hell. Were they? Was the ancestry and, uh, and the procreations of Abraham's children turned out to be vile creatures? According to all these damn myths and, and bullshit? I know if I, if I happen to go into a Christian school, into a Christian university, it would give me one slant. Okay, fine. But I want to understand a little bit more. I'd like to understand more. Because this pisses me off. This would piss me off. This would piss me off so damn much, I don't, I don't even understand it. Uh, what you hear is the rumbling boreal, so the pot ready to go. Rumbling its lid off again. I want to know why the Jews were so damn hated. Up to this day, what the hell did they do? What does a rabbi in a synagogue these days have so much of a threatening hold on somebody? I don't get it. I don't get the stupidity going through our heads. I don't. Why would somebody of the six points pointed star of David be a major threat to everybody? I mean, these days, you know, it's after World War II, as much as I read into the history of this, and I'll probably need more restudying about the more specifics on this. And in order to give the uh, the uh, Jewish people a country, uh, a land to live in, the land of Palestine was torn apart by the UN, ministered, managed by the British at the time until they can get their place in order and I think Palestinians were also administered by the British and this is where my history is sketchy because I like to know the details of this shit but I wasn't taught the details of it in the community college it just gave you the bare basics of what's going on nothing specific the, bare, the specific has to be the research done on this has to be the books necessary the reading of it, the analyzing it. Granted, in every book and every video would have their own slant, but as I try to indicate to a lot of people these days, 
We live in a kaleidoscope world, but we also live in a spectrum world. One Pretend this is a flashlight. White light here. I'm holding. White is made up of a lot of color and spectrum. If I had a glass pyramid or a crystal pyramid or just a crystal and light shining through it, you would see the variations of it. I just don't have one. I wish I had one so I could show the I can show the variations of what you're looking at here. One second. Maybe there is a way. Do it artistically if I have to. What I'm trying to find out, and I'm going to try using a couple of downloads here. You've seen the you've seen the album of Pink Floyd, right? Yeah. Dark Side of the Moon. Cool music. What I'm trying to do, uh, let's see if I can get this one. Uh, hold on. Hit, get, 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 get. No, I wasn't trying to. I just, right, I was trying to do this. Okay, so the Pink Floyd Pyramid. See how it works. All right. And what I need is the image of what I'm looking at here. Even though it's cool, but let's get to put the science anyway. Okay, well, this is of Google anyway. My point. Take a screenshot if you have to. Be easier on that one. Our own interpretation of everything else that we're looking at these days. The one pure source of information staring in front of our face, and yet the color bands would represent our own viewpoints. The truth, looking through a uh, looking glass, but coming up fractured. Our own, our own way of looking at the, real, uh, the reality here. That's the thing I have to keep remembering for myself these days. Of course, if you want to uh, be a Floyd fan, then. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon cover, but it's still the same thing. Looking at our history, history is made and history is viewed and observed in many forms and facets. We write about it, we talk about it, we videotape the thing, we audio tape the thing, whatever it is that's happening. These are our own viewpoints, this is the reality check that we're dealing with right now as it is. But this is what we're dealing with. All of our records are obtained and under different people's viewpoints of what things are what reality is. Holocaust Day is a reality. A tragic reality that we had from a madman was insanity going through his head and wanting to have the world shaped in his own fashion and form. And people are still following the same damn stuff. We've got it all the time. We have it all the time. We have people denying what what horrors were. We have horrors happening in our daytime, in our in our lifetime right now, and we still deny it. It's been ongoing for a hell of a long while, and we still deny it, because sometimes we just can't understand that humanity can do this to each other. But we can. And we've done, and we're still doing. Will we continue to do it? Well, beyond my lifetime, because there's no way of curing a damn thing. There's nothing we can surgically remove. There is nothing to be done with our genetics. It's always a learned behavior that's reinforced constantly. 
And maybe deep down inside, we still got our darker natures. I'm not going to deny that. It's part of our subconscious situations happening. We do a hell of a lot of things to a hell of a lot of people. But this point is, the Holocaust Remembrance Day is the day we have to keep remembering. We still got that dark side still kicking our ass. And we're kicking everyone else's ass because we're being ruled by it. We're being ruled by it. But people don't want to understand. People don't want to learn about it. They don't want to examine the damn thing. We say the Jews are hateful. Why are they hateful? Because they're out to control the world. And we must kill them. Putin's arguments at this point over here thinks the Ukrainians are Nazis. And therefore he's going to exterminate them. One way or another, he'll control the land. But actually, he was trying to tell people that they're all Nazis. And Putin's the only one that can give him sanity. Sounds like the same damn shit we fell for a long time ago. We never approved or anything about our federal government system. People keep forgetting that people are in charge of the federal government because we keep electing people to go into the federal government system to help work with our problems. We have, we give consolidated consent to govern. All you got to do is just read the Federal 10 papers. Actually, the, the Federalists. Go online. Research that one. I remember I had to keep going in political science class to understand the reasons why our system works and doesn't work half the time. And it's about people. We give our consent and we give them the right to govern us. To paraphrase Hamilton, Jefferson. I'm trying to write this shit out. There's a couple more people in there. Brian's a little slow right now on that one. There are four people that helped create our government. Uh, no, it wasn't George Washington. Hamilton, Jackson, uh, Franklin. Hamilton, Jefferson, Franklin. Oh, God, what the hell am I thinking of? Well, I probably said the fourth one, and I'm just losing it anyway. No, it wasn't Washington. But we did have four commoners trying to create something for our country, creating a country, and writing out the rules and regulations. And we're not talk just talking about the Constitution. We're not talking about the Declaration. Only. We're talking about how we view ourselves. Hamilton, Jackson, Franklin. It's always the fourth one I go, which is me. I know I, uh, I'm going to hate this. Give me a second. Uh, I don't need a damn luggage. What I need is the damn forefathers. Where are you at? All right. Uh. Adams! Ah! John Adams, damn it! Drilled into our heads all throughout the kindergarten, through the collegiate, and I still can't get this shit done right. I can say it in political science classes, I can get it through her, but then when you don't use the facts, oh my god, I get my, my ass kicked on this one. Yes, Washington was one of our forefathers because he was the first president of the United States, but he wasn't the ones creating our government in the first place. Leading it and being a general and president is one thing, but he had to be. Le but he had to know the rules and regulations. Hamilton, Franklin, Adams, Jefferson are the ones who are influential in being the actual, for me, forefathers of our country because they're the ones creating the paperwork for it the engine to drive for it.
But they sure as hell didn't create the damn racism that we still had growing up in our systems during that time. It sure as hell wasn't the precursor to the Holocaust days that we're still celebrating these days. They already had enough with a tyrant king who didn't give a shit about anybody else. A white Anglo, uh, white Anglo, was he Norman or Saxon, I wonder. Hmm. That was the one thing I never understood about him. Hang on. Well, I got you out of line. All right, so I need King George III. And I need to know if this asshole was a Saxon or Protestant. Uh, Saxon or Norman. Saxons, yeah, they were rich, but the Normans act like they're real, real schmucks in the first place. You really had to understand your British history for this one. To understand the lineage of this guy and the royalty going through it. Grandson of King George. Okay, Frederick. Wells. It was Norman. It wasn't Saxon. Yeah. It was Norman, not Saxon. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, he was still royalty and he still had a stick up his ass. When you start reading about history of other countries, and I was trying to read about it when I was in community college over 30 years ago, I wanted to know what my British history was, what my British line lineage was. I wanted to know anything and everything about it. Complicated and convoluted as hell. I opened up a real Pandora's box on that one there, but it gave me a lot, a lot to appreciate. A bit of... A bit of Britain... Back then, getting things started back when we had the Norman Conquest, William the Conqueror coming into England back in, what was it, 1077, I think, somewhere in that time, or no, 1066. Reading about the histories and how they were trying to get their countries, uh, how to get their landscapes and, and the island worked out was one thing. It came from the European mainland to the island of Britain. To the Highland, to the Scottish Highlands, to the land of the Irish, about to be, and trying to understand the history of that is incredible. Yeah, then when you have the monarchs and royalty, then you would have the the drama happening all the way through this day, and the traditions. And learning about how one country, how one royal leader was trying to fight another one to gain an entire island. And part of my lineage is part of that. Part of my ancestry was coming from England, but also from Europe. And. Learning about my family history and lineage is important to me. It keeps me aware of who and what I am from what I was a long time ago. But I wasn't taught to be a slave owner. At least I wasn't, you know, didn't have that information in my family history. At least nobody told me about that one. But if there was any slave history going on in there, well, I guess I'm among many who actually had that going in their bloodline. But does it give me the right to do that to other people? Does it give me the right to be an asshole to people? To do a holocaust and laugh in people's faces saying it didn't happen? Understanding where I came from, understanding my lineage, understanding history. It's important to me in my later adult life. Why? Because it matters to me. Growing up as a kid, I heard about the stamp stuff, but I was... I didn't have the context. I didn't have perspective. 
These days I got it and oy vey. But I didn't have the culture behind me saying that I need to be the one controlling people left and right because it was my manifest destiny to do so. To be a royal asshole or be a royal jerk to people because I have to be this way. That's what I'm seeing these days. These days, shit. I'm looking at human history, there's a drop in the water of the damn crap going on. So, yeah. Understanding what the hell happened with us. See, American history is just not one viewpoint of it. It's many viewpoints. How we got started, why we got started, from different families and different lineages. And then we got to study from the lineage in, in the history of those who were getting their asses kicked and pushed around and put into, into pens left and right. And said, this is your territory now. We're gobbling up everything else because it's our European manifest destiny to do so. We are arrogant assholes. We are, shall I say it, white. No wonder they don't like us very much. Just our damn skin color is all fucking European attitude we had during that time. Conquer this, conquer that. We must conquer, conquer, conquer. That's what it was, conquering everything. We see another part, throw another part. Another person, another bully, we conquer them. Why? Because we can. We got it in our genes. We all. Well, to borrow an attitude and a little lineage here, or a line from a movie, they will bow down to me. I am Egypt. Well, I'm not blaming Egypt, I'm just. They will bow down to me. I am. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank on that one. But it doesn't give me the end. It doesn't give me permission or anything else to hate that much. A race, a person, a person I can understand. A lot of miscommunications happening, and cut off from communication to solve a situation in order for it to stop bleeding into a major hemorrhage. I got that here. I got that here. Can't solve a problem with this one particular guy because he just doesn't want to. So he's worse off than I am. But I still have to make something about my life. I still have to make something worthwhile about it. I still have to be the best person I could certainly be at this point over here. If I can't change the world one way or another, at least if I can just help and understand, make people understand that hating the other person is not going to help or solve a damn thing. This manifest destiny bullshit is all it is. is head game and bullshit being tied to us in one form or another. We're no more morally or physically superior to another person. Period. I am not superior to another person. But I'm sure as hell I'm not going to be inferior to myself but I'm not going to push the superior button on this one I'm not about to so consider this a video concerning about understanding what the holocaust day means to us folks who are of the Christian elk and what does this mean I may have to talk about it a little bit later on this one